have to start up this video with my score today. The Bosch 1276D in immaculate condition. This is my second one of these. Here's my first one. Same thing, look completely different. This one's gone for a, I was a 12 foot drop off a mezzanine on the concrete. It's, I've had it for 30 years. Um, I've got my money's worth out of it. They quit making them, I don't know why. They're phenomenal. But uh, I just picked that one up for a hundred bucks, but I noticed I mean, it, it has been used, so I'm going to take this uh, cover off here and just clean that out a little bit. If I can find the right door. That's it. So one thing that does go wrong with these things, not necessarily wrong, but they wear out is these pads. And it's starting to get a little harder to find them, so I need to order some more of them. I think they're like 13 bucks or leave maybe 26, one or the other. But just a great belt sander. Oh yeah. And I've had this belt go out on mine, but what happens? Dust in there. And then if it's not in there evenly, then it'll, it'll of course get vibrations and It doesn't look like there's much cake to the side there, so I'm not going to mess with taking that one off. I don't think it's warranted. Unfortunately, <coughs> I do not have a belt for it right now. Just ordered them. Wait, I could probably take one. There's one more belt center to include in this little bit here. This one was last year's attempt at replacing it. It's variable speed. It's a 1273 DBS. It's not the same belt sander. Not even close. Um, that's a far superior machine, but it does have a belt on it. Sort of. Now I'm not gonna even put that old belt on that new one. But, 100 bucks. I think when I bought, bought it originally 30 years ago at Seven Corners Hardware, those are the, the Minnesota known place, uh, missed it. Then you hit Cassettes right afterwards. Mm, what, a, what a way to go to St. Paul. Anyways, I think I paid like 300 bucks for it maybe 30 years ago. I don't know for sure. 
but I think I got my money's worth. <laughs> you got a same out of his bottle cap stuck to there. I'm not really sure how that happened. And obviously not a paid promotion because they don't make that belt sander anymore. What's up, Bosch? What are you thinking? I think it's... What else do I have? I think that may be the only Bosch tools I have right now. We used to have the, the jigsaw because they were the best, but then I went cordless. And that's where they all live. My belt sanders. <laughs> well, that's not all my belt sanders, but that's where all the Bosch ones are. So. One of the things I struggle with is if I haven't been in the garage for a day or two, the longer it's been, the harder it is getting started on something. Um, it's horrible. I don't know if it's the ADD, ADHD, whatever you want to call it, it's just my own mental deficiencies, you might say. Um, problems, so definitely some would say. But if you, if you experience the same thing, what do you do? How, how do you uh, work through that? So, I say so a lot. What I'm thinking I'm going to work on right now, this evening, is the new center console for the Datsun. Um, it doesn't really flow. It, I love the dash, even though this one's all cracked up, or it was all cracked up, and you know, I carbon fibered it. Not, not great, but it's better than it was, which unfortunately is a common theme around here, along with not finishing things, because I don't know why, I just don't do it. Um, if I finished it, I wouldn't have a bunch of materials left over to keep moving them around. Yeah, I know. 